Hello and happy summer. And I hope that all of you are enjoying and time off from teaching and hopefully we'll um, be excited for the teaching that's coming. So today I'm going to get to talk to you about something I did different this year, which was good and beautiful math. So a little bit of backstory. Um, my second son, he struggled. No, no, he actually didn't struggle. He was actually really great at math. And we were doing Singapore early on. And I was like, this is just not really challenging him much. Like he'd do it so fast. He did it all in his mind and it was just going so fast. So we decided to switch from Singapore and moved over to teaching textbooks because I had at that point had multiple children doing math and it was harder to focus in on a lesson. Um, so I did teaching textbooks for a while and he did great with that, but I recognized that he was kind of bored. He just had that bored look all the time. Um, so he kind of plowed through that year. And then finally I was like, you know, he needs something really different. And I had heard that when the beautiful math was uh, at least at level, if not up a little bit higher. And so I thought to myself, well, there's no harm in trying something different. So we tried this out and I will say that I'm 100% happy with the choice that we made. So we fully finished the book. And so I wanted to talk about it since we made it through the whole thing. Um, and I highly recommend it. So when you go to their website, if you choose to go with their math. One option you have is if you have a really great printer, you can print off the entire year of curriculum yourself. You can print off the answer book. You can print off the actual textbook. Um, you can do it front to back. Just make sure you do it along the short side. If you're flipping it, flip it along the short side. I learned that lesson. And then you can go get it bound at a store and it works great. Um, since it was my first time, I thought I'm gonna go ahead and just get the actual book. But when you order, you'll get the actual textbook you can choose to do a math answer key. I would suggest this because by the time you get to fifth grade, some of the math is, is going to take you a long time too. So math key. And then also they add in something called mental math activities. And so this is, again, something optional, especially if you have a child who likes math and who likes to think and do math quickly. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of the lessons. This should be a pretty short video because I'm just trying to give you the basics. But uh, it's divided up into units and just like anything you get through a unit you'll get to review and then you'll have a, a test or an assessment so i'll kind of show you some of those so every lesson let's see if i can get this to look okay every lesson starts off with a video lesson and you can access this through their website they're pretty easy to find and they're really well done every one of the videos that we watched um, are professionally made like the, the quality is really good the explanations are really good but most of the time they also apply to real life so it isn't just someone lecturing and telling you about a math concept they bring in real life examples and they really do a good job of of um making it come alive to the student. So there, and there's also a QR code. If you can't find it online, you can just get it straight up from your phone, tablet, whatever works for you. So they do lessons along with the video and they'll have the video have you pause and that kind of stuff. And it's just really great. So watch those online. There's, there's samples on their website. They're really great. Um, and then there's a uh, mini lesson. Most of them have this. So after they've watched the video, they can choose to read the lesson themselves. This will give you the vocabulary of that lesson and give you some examples that you need to remember. So this is something we walked through together in this one because long division, of course, is something that takes its own little time. The one thing I forgot to mention is before each before you dive into each lesson and kind of send your kid off to do their video and their mini lesson, the mental math you do first with them. So each lesson will have a um, real, real simple. You you show them this side. You you know like let's say on lesson seven. So you sorry I can't get that to show. There you go. Um, you would show them these questions, ask them to them, and they would answer them. Well, if you yourself aren't so good at math and you can't think of it on the spot, right on the back it'll give you the answers that they're looking for. So um, I would hold it like this. He would sit here, answer, and then I can check off the answers he went. So that was great. The neat thing about this is as they went, if they, once they completed the page, they would get a sticker. So, and it would tell you where to put it. So in the very back, of course, we used all the stickers. So, oh God, they would take them and put them in on a grid. So I'll show you the picture that he ended up creating. And while you're doing it, you're kind of like, this is, what am I doing this for? Um, and so we created this sticker uh, map, but by the end, what's neat is that they show, they have a like choose your own adventure book. So we actually read this choose your own adventure book together at the end of our math, at, like end end of the school year. And it was just a really great story and he could choose different ways. And it wasn't um, cheesy, it was just a really cute little story. So this was one of the things you do before. Some days, depending on how busy you are, you might skip this. And that's just how life goes, as you know. 
So again, then they do their video lesson and they're reading their mini lesson. If at any point in these two sections, your child is getting confused, that's when you want to check in with them, make sure they're doing okay. But if it turns out that they're pretty independent with math, this part should be pretty straightforward. Time-wise, the video is going to be around 10 minutes, give or take the, you know, the what the lesson's about, and then to kind of go through this. So the actual physical time up to this point, it could be about 20 minutes of reading, mini lesson, and this. Again, it kind of depends on how they do it. And then they go into the practice. Now, this page is a little bit of a mess because I wrote the steps of long division on here too, but um, you can see my son's chicken scratch everywhere. And um, so there's lots of practice problems. And then somewhere in there, there's also a review. So in the review, they're looking at some of the concepts they've already done. Sorry, that quality is not very good. Um, there you go. So in the review section, they're just looking at some of the, the options they do. And again, if they have been working really hard the rest of the lesson, sometimes I might shorten the review just to the concepts that I know he's struggling with. There are certain things I don't need him to keep repeating if, he's already, if he already knows them pretty well. So those lessons keep going. And what's neat about that, they're not just, you know, long division. Every so often you'll get to a chapter where they'll have some activities that are just kind of beautiful like they're they're colorful and they um, apply to real life a lot of the times let me get to something that has an actual um there's a lot in here oh so like on this one he was doing drawing geometric figures and so he was following a set of instructions on this page and then drawing a little village on here to, uh, based on the direction so that was kind of neat um somewhere in here is going to be the review i'm trying to get to that oh here we go so right before they get to the unit assessment there's going to be a review that they go through and these usually are kind of like a fun lesson i call these sometimes gamey uh they might be something just a little bit different but they would be um specifically a little bit different than the rest and then they would get to the assessment so the assessment is neat because it'll give you some instructions as to how to do it. Um, it's very straightforward and um, goes exactly through the things that they've gone through. How you do it is you take the first day and they, sorry, this is kind of messy, but they are going to do the purple section. So if you notice that there is a purple and an orange section, they will focus on the purple just the first day. So you can have them do as many pages, like this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, six pages, but they only have to do the purple sections. This is what I call their check and see how they're doing. So what they do is they just do the purple and then you sit down on your own and you go through and grade them. And if they got anything wrong in that purple section, then you're going to say that they have to do the orange section. So if they messed up the purple section, they get to redo it the next day in the orange section. So this allows them to say, oh, I didn't quite get this. Um, but what's nice is often in the orange section, they put the rules in here that you're supposed to follow. So if they are stuck on this, they can reread the instructions and then it will help them to get that section better. Um, not, not always, but sometimes. So anyways, the, then what you would just go through is if they did great on the purple, you don't have to do that section again, but then you keep going until you know it. Now, if there's a concept that they're really struggling with, then you can go back and redo that lesson again or decide that for your own child. Um, here's another example of, um, so the resources in the back of the book, they will give things like stickers that go with certain lessons. This is one that was talking about perimeter and area of irregular shapes. And the lesson itself was great, but then look at the actual practice. So they they solved some problems over here and then put stickers in according to how things fit. So they were actual perimeters uh, or th measurements that they had to figure out for each of these little sections on the farm. And then um, they had to put these stickers in according to what the answers were. So some of the lessons were pretty short and then other times might kid might have taken up to 45 minutes, but he was focused and he was doing it and he enjoyed it. And so I think I saw him grow in leaps and bounds and not complain about math. He did at times get frustrated at the length. So what we I learned to do is to say, I'd kind of come in and check on him if I recognized he was taking a long time. And I would just say, okay, why don't we pause it here and then save the rest of the afternoon. So that way he had time to get rid of his other things, but then maybe like later in the afternoon at snack time or something, he'd do a couple more problems. And there were some days where it was like, he's working so hard on all the lesson. I don't want him to feel frustrated to have to then do the review after that. So I kind of learned to say, 
today's the day you're going to do all your review, none of your review, or just a couple of them based on how hard you've been working the whole time. So this was a really good fit for my son. I would recommend The Good, The Beautiful Math 5 for anyone who really, really is liking math, but also likes to be a little bit creative and different. It's not just cut and dry, you know, fill in 10 answers according to the, the concept of the day. Um, they're going to get some real life examples and have the Lord mixed in there too. I know some people have commented that there may be some controversy about the creator of this in terms of that she uh, go follows a certain church but the, here's the thing in this book there isn't theology based on a specific set of of church guidelines it really is just a simple it's kind of simply good and beautiful so it really is just about the simply math but also bringing the lord into the beauty of his creation so if you're looking for something new try good and beautiful math